Thanks for tuning in and happy 4th to everybody. I got up early this morning as I usually do and thought I'd check out this walking trail nearby where I'm staying. I'm out of town again and the family's still asleep so I thought I'd take this time just to be out here and talk about the Helicon Tex Sear Pouch. This is a pouch that I've previously reviewed on this channel. I'll link it up at the, up at the top if you want to go check that review out. So I'm not going to go over every little thing about the pouch but I just want to just show it to you out in the wild, out in the field and just show you what I can pack inside. So it's a great little pouch. I take this every time I go walking or hiking or short treks like this, and it serves that purpose really, really well. So before I talk about it, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to help support my channel. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. I'm almost at 900 subscribers. So if you could hit that subscribe button and help me out, I'll be awesome. So, this is the Helicon Texier pouch, and it's a great little pouch, and I paid $25 a few months ago. Unfortunately, they've gone up in price to like $40, $45 if you can find them, and I got this in the earth brown color. I usually like black pouches, but I really like this earth brown color. It just really suits me well and just uh, really blends in with nature walks and stuff like that. Uh, you can use this for bushcrafting, for hiking, for camping, whatever you want. I usually like to use the included strap to strap it to my waist. That's my preferred method of wearing it. But there are several different options and loops in the back, which you can use to also attach to your belt. The zippers are really, really well made. Uh, very, very smooth. And I really like these zipper pulls. Just feel very high quality with the heat shrink, shrink like this and it's got little two little loops on the side you can use carabiners to attach maybe a pair of gloves or your keys or something like that so that's the outside of the pouch and just really feels nice i believe it's about six by five and a half something like almost square don't really remember the dimensions off the top of my head but it's a really nice size even though it seems small on the outside it can hold a lot of gear on the inside which i'll show you in just a second so let's open this up and see what i have on the inside all right, so hopefully you can see all the stuff I have on the inside. I'm gonna start with my newest acquisition, which is the CJRB Pyrite Light. And I just got this in, so I haven't really had a ton of time to test this out, but it is an awesome knife that I got for $30. That was the promotion price when they first released, released this. Now it's back up to 40, unfortunately. But if you can get it at, it, get it at $30, it's an incredible knife. It's got FRN scales. I think FRN stands for fiberglass reinforced, reinforced nylon. It's got a button lock. Uh, this is my first button lock knife and the action is really good. It's got thumb studs on both sides, a worn cliff style blade, blade shape, a nice finger choil here so you can choke up really nicely. And it's, I think it's uh, 3.1 or 3.2 inches long in terms of the blade length, which is a great size. So a little bit longer than the other knives that I own. And uh, fantastic action, very smooth with the button lock. Uh, you can even back flick it if you want. Um, just no problems with it. And I really like this knife, very, very lightweight. Obviously that's why it's called the Pyrite Light. And there's been a ton of reviews on this knife saying that it's one of the best knives of the year at this price point. So I just thought I'd had to try it. And I'm glad I did. I haven't, like I said, I just got this in yesterday. So I haven't had uh, time to test it out a lot but once I do I will let you know and get back to you and do a review of my thoughts on the pyrite light and but for the most part in terms of first impressions I really like it all right and I'll link all these products below if you're interested in checking it out I forgot to tell, mention that so I just have a roll of um, bandages a bandage and then a zippo this is a Zippo that I recently picked up on vacation. I usually have my arc lighter in here, but I forgot to pack that when I was uh, packing for the trip, but I, I usually have my Zippo, so I threw that in there. Then I have a little fixed blade knife. This is the Boker Magnum Little Friend Micro. I actually really love this knife. I just throw it in there every time I go hiking. And uh, sometimes I pull it out and just, you know, show the kids and just fool around with it. Uh, you know, obviously it's not really a knife that you're going to be using all the time for major projects, but it's a great knife for walking and hiking and things like that. 
Then I also have some after bite cream, of course, if you, if you get bit, you just put this on there. It's basically, I think, mainly like baking soda, but it helps you to not itch, itch or scratch once you get bitten by a bug or a mosquito. And it's really great to have in there. I also have a little write in the rain notebook. Inside I also have the write in the rain pocket pen. And this is a notebook that I really think is just really high quality. Uh, it's got uh, nice pages that feel like it's made of premium materials. It's got a coating on it so you can get it wet and the ink won't smudge off depending on what you're writing with. So if you use the write in the rain pen, you can actually write with, write with this when it's wet. Uh, so it's really good to have in good, in like, uh, different types of weather conditions, especially when you're walking or hiking. Well, a lot to go through here. So um, in here, this is something that I recently picked up. I've mentioned this in a se couple, several different videos. This has become my standard pocket carry. Uh, it's, it's, this is basically a grid organizer. It's got a little plastic piece with some elastics um, kind of weaved together. And I have my Kinepex Cobra pliers a little knife here. This is a, basically a $6 knife, which is a clone of the James brand Elko. And it's super sharp. I just talked about how, I don't know how that's legal, but there are several differences that make it allow, so make, makes it so that they can sell it. So I'm kind of like well, talking really fast today. I'm not sure why, but a uh, really awesome knife that just fits right in there. And then the, I'd usually have my baton for a flashlight in there, but because I threw this in there, I just decided to leave that at home. This is the Olight i3e EOS, and it's just one function. You twist it on, twist it off, and very simple light. I got this for free when I purchased a Olight product recently. They just kind of give these away. Uh, I believe there's a sale, Olight sale going on, so they go check that out. There's some great deals on flashlights and different items on their website. So um, that's my standard pocket carry basically. So I threw that in there just to have some more organization. And then there's three different pockets here as well. I've already covered the knife. This is a little multi-tool for $11 that I got. And um, the great thing about these is that it has detachable scissors. So if you press this button, the scissors come apart and you can use the scissors separately from the actual tool. And if you didn't want the scissors, you can just leave them behind and just have a multi-tool and it makes it a little lighter as well if you wanted to carry something a little lighter. Now, I had been using the Felissa 16-in-1 multi-tool. I talked about how I ran into some issues with that. Uh, this one really has held up very well. It's got a saw, which I've I just actually used this the other day to build a fire. And it's all these tools are locking. It's got like a crossbar lock, so you just pull down and then it locks and un unlocks. It's got a little multi-tool here, which is sometimes hard to get out, but yeah, here we go. Little multi-tool with can opener, bottle opener, wire stripper, little driver, a little serrated edge, or serrated blade, excuse me. And on this side, you have a reamer slash awl and also a file which is very nice with the ruler on the other side and then the main blade here which i wish i could open one-handed but unfortunately with the locking mechanism it's very hard to open one-handed i haven't been able to successfully do it but it's got a nice sheep's foot blade here very very long very sharp and just the, i'm very impressed with this multi-tool that only cost me 11 dollars. it even has a pocket clip and i forgot to mention has a driver on the other side and uh, you, it, this does work with the Roxon bit adapter kit, and I've ordered that and fits on there really well. So you can have a good selection of bits on there as well. So a uh, really awesome multi-tool. I highly recommend this if you can find it. You can find it on Amazon or directly from China. For I got this for $11, but now they've bumped it up to like $17 or $18, but maybe they'll go back down in price at some point, but really fantastic little multi-tool. And then in just in this pocket here, I just have a few other items. Uh, let's see. So here's the pen that I was talking about, the right in the rain pen. And you just kind of pop it off like this, put the cap on, and you've got basically a full size pen. It is very, very lightweight, which is nice. And uh, like I said, it's waterproof. So when you write, the ink won't smudge off and you can also write in the rain or if the paper is wet, 
you can write on it with no problem. I've tested it out, really like this pen. Comes in a two pack, which is nice. So I have one usually in my pouch and then one usually in my pocket or something like that. So these are a pair of little retractable tweezers. And I love these things because obviously good for splinters when you're hiking or just picking up little objects, inspecting them. And they just retract into this little metal housing. As you can see, these are probably one of the items in my EDC collection that I carry with me the most and also use with me the most just because of how handy it is to have a good pair of tweezers wherever you go. And uh, then lastly, well, I think there's a few more other items in there. Um, I also have uh, the Olite, let's see, D1, uh, O-Knife, excuse me, O-Knife, O-Tackle D1 bit driver kit. And it's a mini driver with four bits included in here. So I'll just take a one out. And it's, you've got a selection of Torx, Phillips, slotted, and hex bits in here. And then what you do is you just kind of put it in the front and you've got a little driver. And this is perfect if you want to do knife maintenance or something like that for those kind of jobs. And then also if you need a little more torque, you can just put it in here. This isn't magnetic, unfortunately, that's the only part I don't like. And then just have it and have a little bit more torque like this. So a really awesome, made of titanium. It's got a little ball detent here, so it keeps everything in place, this little cover. And then even the bits are, uh, there's magnets inside that keep hold the bits in place so you don't lose them. I hope I don't lose any of the bits, but because it's smaller, I, I probably will lose some of the bits, I assume. But so far I haven't, but for $20, this is, like I said, the O-Knife O-Tackle D1 uh, bit driver. And then anything else in here? So that you should see there's a lot of space in the main compartment. And then it's got a mesh zippered compartment, which I just use mainly for first aid supplies. I've got some gauze pads, some clean cleansing wipes, and then a little tin full of like ointments and ointments and bandages and things like that. So that's basically what I carry in this little pouch. This is the Helicon Tech Sear pouch. And I really, really love this pouch and take it with me every single time I, I'm out and about in the wilderness or going hiking or even camping. So um, that's everything that's in there. And as you can see, all the things that I put in there, there's you can probably fill it out even a little bit more if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna put everything back just to show you how everything packs into place. But you can let me know in your comment section uh, what you think and love to hear your thoughts. Uh, are there supplies that I should be, other supplies that I should be considering in terms of adding things to this pouch? Obviously, this isn't for like overnight. I'm not using this for overnight, so I didn't pack other things. Um, I usually carry a roll of duct tape in here as well, but I forgot that as well. But that's something that I usually have in there. And then just everything just packs in there very nicely and zips up very easily. So um, love to hear your thoughts below. Um, thanks for all your support and hope you all have a happy fourth and until the next video. God bless.